Hello everyone. Today we will calculate LS factor, that is topography factor, one of the important factor of Russell model, and we will calculate using the equation given by Hickey. And at last, uh, we will develop a figure, as you can see, like this. So let's go. First, we need to download the DM. So for DM, uh, we are downloading DM from the Google Earth engine. We have developed the code and now just give the area and then run it. Like we are using the Allos pulsar for this purpose. 90 meter, then run it. Now you can see uh, I have given some uh, rectangle area. So it will automatically download uh, Allos DM. Just run, run it and it will download your SRTM, uh, Allos pulsar DM. If you want to rename it, you can rename it. So this file will, will be downloaded in your account. So now I have opened it in, in GIS. Now uh, extract it with your Morena shape file. So I am I'm going to extract by mask. And uh, in input, I will give the DM. And uh, in the shape file, I will give Morena. And then uh, output. If you want to give it output, you can give it. Otherwise, uh, de select the default and it will save it. So I'm selecting a folder where, where I have to want it. And then give it a name and TIFF extension and then save it. Then run it. So for time saving, I have already done this access, this process. So let us directly open the DM of the Morena. Here is the DM. That's value ranges from 100 to 4 to 27 meter. So for that software that we are using, we need to convert it into the ASCII format. So select the DM and give the part. Remember to remove the TXT file to ASC and then OK, run it. We are giving the ASC format <coughs> for downloading in the ASCII format. Now, done. So it will convert my uh, TIFF file into the ASCII format. So copy this uh, file from the uh, C drive that I am doing it. And copy and paste it in folder where you want it. like this it's give two file ASK and projection file so now open the the software that we have developed that is very important that is a CSS programming model so crop open the path copy the path and paste it see I will show you how like this copy and then paste it and then give the output file short prefix like you can do and you give anything I am giving the queue then if you want to write intimate file yes why enter and then again it will ask if you want to repair the no data so yes we want it so yes again now it will do it will complete the process see uh, writing the cell running and now beginning pass so it started from one and it will end to double line double line so let us directly move to the next part so we have used this equation developed by the uh, hickey so this equation has this model basically has developed in the css program using the equation advantage of using this software this uh, programming tool is that it will not give you any gap and it will give you the L and S factor separately. So just open it. I 
I am showing you again how to do it. Now we are at uh, five, six, around six thousand. So it will take like one, two minutes to complete the process. Now fast forward it. Now we are at nine thousand. Let us see. See, it will complete the task and the, save the well, the L and S factor separately. Just wait. Nine thousand four hundred. Other than ls factor, it will give some other intimate file that can be used in other parameters, other models. But right now, we require only l and s factor. So let us see how it will develop. Just few seconds. Almost done. See, now it's calculating all the files and saving it in the folder. This is my default, my folder where we have saved all the files. Now you can see we require only L and S file. L is slope length and S is slope uh, steepness. So now it is in other format. So we have to convert it. So just open it into the notepad. And then again, save it save as in ASCII format. So remove the uh, format and write, rename it and dot ASC is the important part. Then save it. Same for S factor. Same, save as, rename it, and then dot .asc. So now we have converted our output result into ASCII format. So right, next we require it to convert it into TIFF format. So open ArcGIS. And then you can see from the conversion tool, you can see to raster. So go to to raster, ASCII to raster. And then give input the ASCII file that we have saved. L factor, open. And then you can change integer to the float. And then OK. If it, it is showing the error, then there is another way to convert it, like it is showing error. So you can do it in other formats, like directly open the ASCII file in your ArcGIS, like I am doing for S factor. Then right click and then save it, export data, yes, and give the format TIFF. Now rename it and then save. So it will directly con directly convert your ASCII file into TIFF file. So we have converted both L and S factor files. So remove other file to make it very clear. Now we have L and S factor separately. The, the range for S factor range is from 16.3 to 0, 0.0 something. And for LS factor, the range is from 0, 0.026 to 0. So for calculation of the LS factor, we need to multiply this uh, L and S. Now see, we can change the symbology and see that like this is the S factor and next is the LS, L factor. So uh, we need to multiply these two factors. So go to the arc toolbox and then go to the spatial analysis tool 
uh, where we need to find the map algebra. Yeah, this is there. And then the raster calculator. So now multiply these two factors S into L and give a path or directly give just OK. So it will multiply these two factors and give the LS factor value. So now we have converted and for the Morena uh, district using the LOS pulsar, our value ranges from 0 0.42 to 0. And we can change the symbology you can ch and see the visualize the data. You can see we are now zoom it. Check how the you distribute it. So basically based on the elevation and the steepness and the other things uh, it will divide it will calculate the LS factor. Thank you.